Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second. So make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second. Click that little button so it makes sure you watch it out all the frames, all 60 of them. It's actually really important, it just for this is. show. Normally it it's is. not important. No, with other shows it's not, but this one it is because the system works at 60 and uses tricks. Correct. that uh, employ the 60 frames a second so make sure you do that it's wednesday that means it's erlen yeah man uh, <laughs> welcome it's, it's a first today it's the first time ever that i have actually drank starbucks on the show <laughs> and i don't endorse starbucks it was just because i was running late and i feel very ashamed of it i knew that i would have to admit it right off the bat because <laughs> yeah. i don't want to endorse starbucks i like all these local places but yeah and uh, we live in an area where if you open up a chain store, they'll spray paint the sidewalk outside of the chain store. Yes. Locals only. Yeah, man. And like, people, they'll shame like my you. friends will like <laughs> seriously like they'll throw tomatoes at me. It's not good. <laughs> so I just needed to say that I don't endorse Starbucks. I don't plan on repeating this, but coffee is better than no coffee. And I was like, right. it, and it's just been taking way too long at these local places. That's the only issue is you show up and like a little bit more laid back, <laughs> yeah, a little bit more relaxed. Let's hug over just yeah. <laughs> five, five to 10 minutes. And then also the problem is I know all these people now too. So I was like, so Erin, what are you relaxed. up to? What's your day like? And I'm like, I'm doing a show. What's the show? It's, it's just, all about coffee and how quick I can get it. Yeah, man. I'm like, it's about <laughs> so the... let's make it good. Have you heard of the Atari 2600? They're like, the what? The, the I'm like, what? I can't even begin <laughs> to tell you what the fuck I do on Wednesdays then. Yeah, yeah. If you don't know those basics, it's going to be a hard go. <laughs> yeah, they're like, like like the Nintendo? Yeah, like totally. Oh, Nintendo. <laughs> but earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the show. We're going to be playing uh, Hacks today. Four Hacks. Uh, which you don't normally play, but I was supposed to sent these to me, and he said, hey, check them out. And I thought, oh, I put them all together into one show. And it's a little bit slower this time of year. People are not putting yeah, out man. as many games. We're, or... we're recovering from <laughs> <laughs> everything. Whatever the fuck happened this week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> our <laughs> feet and back and all the rest of it. So, yeah, it's, that makes sense. So, we're so gonna be... are there all hacks? Is yeah, the case? it's all hacks today. So oh, that's these... exciting. And if somebody doesn't know what a hack is, it is somebody has taken an existing game, could be even be a homebrew game, or uh, a game released in the 80s, 90s for the Atari 2600 and change some things on it, either to make it into kind of their own game with new graphics and a new title or to, to make it better, closer usually to the arcade version because they didn't like what whatever company made it uh, did with it. Yeah. And it's like, this is not what I wanted. I wanted, you know, this color and the ship should be this closer. Because I think, oh, I know, that's your spot. Yeah. Okay, we'll move yeah, this dude. for now. We'll get to that news and we'll bring it up when it's time. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a target here. Dude, owns the Yeah, the, it's like, that's my house, man. spot in the couch. Um, we're going to be playing uh, Fat Albert, which is a fast food hack. Uh, Defender Arcade, which is... Um, not a defender hack, a Stargate hack, also, which is Defender I Two. For doing that, that's very cool. Yeah, thank them. you. I always love it when people send in suggestions for games to play in the yeah. show because it makes my life easier and uh, it also reflects what the people want. It's like, oh, you should check this out. Sometimes I miss things. Yeah, you're only one dude. <laughs> yeah, I try and keep up. Um, uh, Galaxian Arcade, which is a 2010 Galaxian hack, and uh, Doctor versus Daleks, which is a Berserk hack. And thank you, everybody, uh, who's watching live today in Twitch. And thank you to the people watching on YouTube afterwards. Uh, the D-Train 37, Thrust 26, Repentless VG, uh, I Sposta, Militant Mel Buddhist. Uh, there's some other people up here. Ronister Official. Hey, Ronister. Uh, Pac-Man Pac Red. Red. Paper Mario jumped in at the very beginning, say so he wasn't able to watch, but he'll watch it. He'll watch it later. Oh, wow, that's super cool to just pop in and say yeah, that. Yeah, say, hey, you know, they wave. Yeah, that's off. always awesome yeah. just to hear from you guys, you know. And, uh, yeah, thanks to everybody else who's watching but not typing as well because I know oh, yeah. you're out there. There's a lot of people that I, that's, watch. That would be who I'd be. Yeah, just watching. Just lurking in the background, yeah. just checking it out. Maybe voting, <laughs> pressing a number once in a while. Um, and I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who support the show. 
Uh, Coconut 81, Gretem's Ground Trooper I, supposed to Johnny WC23, Carl G, Croco 2600, Matthias J, G Santos, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, RC70, Repentless VG, Sir Catlegs, Spartan 581, Spiceware, Esther Mears 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, and Tiki Dan K. And I love seeing the names here reflect the names that are chatting. Yeah. Very involved. And Raymond C shows up in the nick of time. Yeah, dude. And you can support the show and subscribe for free as well if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime. And click subscribe. And if you don't know how to do that, ask somebody in the chat because most of these people are subscribed. Um, so we've got some uh, mail news and feedback, specifically news. Oh, that's exciting. Um, oh, so feedback's always fun feedback's too. Whenever that usually happens. it's uh, controversial, and <laughs> which is interesting. Always, uh, yeah, I lean feedback in is a good. little bit. Um, yeah, we might get to some feedback. We'll see. Oh, Somebody we got, did give some feedback. Please do it. I didn't I'm, know if I'm, I wanted to include I'm the, it. I'm totally in the mood um, for that. So, uh, Gorf uh, was was announced as Champ Games' next game. I don't know if I said that or not, or I had to keep it a secret. Well, it's hard because I always miss days, too. So I, can't, <laughs> That's I, right, I haven't can't. heard it, but that doesn't mean you haven't said it on the show as the challenge. I'm pretty sure I did, but if I didn't, Gorf, that's what Champ Games is putting out, uh, working on next in its line, because there's still... Ones that are they're working on yeah. uh, Zookeeper, they're still working on um, a bunch of other ones too. Uh, Champ Hockey, um, oh, I can't remember the rest. But they announced today officially Gorf. Um, it says here's a collection of screenshots from the early work in progress Champ Games next project, Gorf Arcade for the Atari 2600. The game is about 40 percent complete and will feature all five arcade levels plus voice and high scores using the Atari Vox. Uh, Gorf will be a zero-page homebrew exclusive debut, as per usual Champ Games is gracing us with the first views, first playthroughs of it. They posted some screenshots today. It looks pretty good. Um, estimation Estimated completion date is fall of 2020, so something to look forward to next year, wow. fall. Um, cause they have bunch and i'm sure Zoo, zookeeper is going to come out first because they're almost done that long live gorf it says i feel like a studio almost at this point you know it like really two does or three a year like it yeah. feels like it, it really does feel like you're kind of like waiting for that release or like a television show almost <laughs> right. like it, it, it feels like you know uh it's kind of kind of cool and and they have their own style usually it's um really great ports of arcade games that didn't get either a release at all on the 2600 or technical not a, standard is <laughs> through the roof really really high they've um there's a certain look to them there's a certain feel to them they've got basics that are there it's like yeah. you've got the high scores you've got a great uh title screen um yeah just all 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 the really cool things there c plus plus coding makes it much faster yeah so they're amazing programmers yeah. they know what they're doing so i was just like sitting around this week mostly oh doing yeah nothing <laughs> but um just because i was in you, like pain and it sucked and all that stuff but like how's I, it now it's much better now it's oh, like okay. now i've accepted it as part of my life <laughs> oh no <laughs> well you know because it's getting better but it's right, just, that's, okay. that's part of the process i think when you deal with You're like kind of semi-chronic pain is like you you at first mourn like the you know what i mean not yeah, having like, it and then now i'm at a point where i'm like well it's getting better every day and it's yeah. just and it's i don't remember what it's like not to have it now because it's been a true. week so but what i was going to say man is that just very quickly yeah um was I listened to your Albert Yaruso interview. Okay, yeah. Man, and that's a good interview. That's very cool. Mm. It was just neat for me to like get to listen to that because oh, yeah. I don't know any of this history. I, I felt like it was really meant for it's me education. almost because like <laughs> I think most people who would be drawn to or a part of the homebrew scene, that's information they already have. A lot of people who are really into it. Yeah, yeah. but I was like, if, if anyone hasn't checked that out, that's a really cool interview. It's, it's probably one of the most watched videos on the channel. Top five for sure. Yeah, man. Yeah. Also, just to look, just see Al and like get a, the scenes, yeah. and see you guys the at person. the place. Because I, I, I hear his name and all this stuff, but I was just like, and it's <laughs> who just, who is he? Well, yeah. yeah, and then also just going through, like, even just thinking about how it is astonishing that people are making new games for this thing. Like, how, like, yeah. you know, it's it's this weird... Anyways, I wanted to just <laughs> shoot that out. I and mean, let's keep let's keep on track, but... But, yeah, I love doing those interviews. Yeah, you got to keep doing those, man. Those are very yeah, cool. Yeah, and I try and... 
put them in and another one's going to come out very soon uh one of your favorite developers or at least a developer of one of your favorite games yeah, is dianoid fuck yeah man amoeba okay, jumps awesome. so you'll get some behind the scenes info for that um probably early december because that's when i'll have a bit more time um so this is the fur these are the screenshots from gorf there's the title screen you've got the champ games at the bottom he's already got 2020 in there yeah. and he's got the the different levels of difficulty he's got standards usually easy hard and arcade um and the name and convention gorf arcade because there was gorf now this is closer to the arcade uh the evil gorfian robot <laughs> empire is attacked your assignment <laughs> gorfian robots my fa <laughs> fucking favorite <laughs> your assignment is to repel the invasion and launch a counterattack. And, and just way 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 better graphics than the 2600 uh, original version beautiful beautiful um and there's one another level i think that's the second level here's the third level which was excluded from a lot of the home versions across many platforms yeah. because it's galaxian and they didn't have the license for some reason for their own game <laughs> to put a level in it because That's it was weird. owned by somebody else but this is a galaxian level which will be included um there's another this is the fourth level where they come out in a spiral from the center and you have to shoot them and the fifth level the uh main boss and it's got incredible graphics there Really, really good. This, also, so man, we're first in block. space, so I'm in. Oh yeah, <laughs> and you've got and you've got the nice uh, stars as well. Stars there, no stars there. Nice star field there, which I don't know if the original had because you know. I feel like he just did Galagon, so maybe there's like a feeling of like you know, let's not leave space yet. Let's keep because it, it it yeah it has Still a bit of space. that it has a bit of that vibe. But obviously, I, I'm not a fucking programmer. Like I guarantee you, it's a completely yeah. different set of challenges. Yeah, but it's just cool to have them do the same thing. Oh, it said number Al's go. interviews number two. Do you know what number oh, one number is? Two. I don't know. I don't know. That's not maybe a the awards. Or... Must be that makes sense. I if, can't remember. If what anyone knows, one let us know. That would be funny. But don't worry too much about it. It's very <laughs> low priority. Uh, August twenty twenty PRGE is the goal. Ah, fall for selling it. Okay. Ice Bosa says, "Guess who's doing the Gorf speech? <laughs> All ninety one words. So oh, Ice Bosa is on that makes it again. Sense. Oh, the awards is okay. So yeah, I did guess that, right. That does make that sense. That makes sense because it's pretty pretty big deal. And speaking of that. Oh shit! What a segue! <laughs> somehow, oh we're, somehow it's working. I took I took the opportunity to seize the segue. <laughs> That's right. Um, the 2019 Atari Homebrew Awards. The date has been set. Uh, I think I announced that last yeah, show. Yeah, man, I got time. I'm ready for it. Yep, <laughs> I'm good to Saturday, go. Saturday, February first. Easy date to remember. Um, so I've. We're going to be posting all the, the lists of all the games that were released so far in 2019 for the three platforms. We're going to be covering not only Atari 2600 this year, but the 7800 and the 5200 slash 8-bit. Um, I've already posted the 7800 list um, in the 7800 forums. Um, just to, And I'm posting these lists so that people can go, hey, you missed one um or you know you've got this wrong or something because you know we're only a couple people that are doing this i've got people behind the scenes helping out with this arena foots doing the 2600 list um i've got another guy doing the 7800 another guy doing the 5200 stuff slash 8 bit um but we're only human we're only a couple people and crowdsourcing <laughs> this is going to help us so that we make sure we don't miss anyone that has released uh anything in 2019 because we want to make sure we have everybody uh it's groundhog day and the super bowl weekend i thought this was the super bowl i thought it was always on I thanksgiving see, see i got no idea I, about we don't, this we canada we I'm don't not a, i'm not a uh, we're not sports i'm not people. a football we're fan. not american as well <laughs> i'm barely a hockey fan and that's <laughs> yeah like, that's once in a while and that's not even the playoffs <laughs> okay it's more exciting they actually move around fast yeah because i'm and that's like you know because we're we're these crazy canadians yeah so uh so in the next week or so we're going to be posting the lists uh, he said, he said so, i'm wrong oh so, uh, so it's not that, groundhog so. day um yeah because that's rough far. man i don't think we can compete with the super bowl <laughs> i just <laughs> i don't know is it is there a big crossover between 2600 fans and super bowl it's a great actually point. all of america is pretty much that 
Uh, I guess you guys are too far from Winterpeg to riot over the Grey Cup results. No idea what was even happening. Yeah, man. <laughs> Um, this is this is also a reason why we why we do a show about the Atari twenty six hundred. Yeah, because <laughs> because we have time. Because sports wasn't exactly <laughs> in our cards. Exactly. <laughs> um, oh, so on uh, obviously December thirty first is the cutoff date for two thousand nineteen. So December first, the full list will be done, completed. Um, then we might post it again, the full full list, just to make sure again. And then the nomination committee is going to narrow it down to, you know, the top 10 games in every category. And I've already been through the categories previous. Man, the machine is huh? starting to, like, yeah, rev into it's gear. Got to, it's got to. And then the public voting, and it should stay pretty constant this date, January 18th, is when voting opens. Voting closes on January 25th, so you got a week and a half to vote or something like that. We found it was... Like yeah. only a couple of days were needed, and then the stragglers came in and 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 uh, voted in the end. Um, I got a little bit of flack over my our disinclusion of Batari Basic games. Interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna say who, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't not even know. Yeah. But I'm sure more will come as well. Um, but we 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 oh, went over so the, the Sundays on the second. Okay, that's great news then. Oh, good. Thanks. So, okay, that's whew, that makes me feel better. It's very close though. It's it is the same weekend. So we'll have more than one voice per category this time. Uh, voice per category. Vote. Vote. Um, voice is a much more fascinating <laughs> sentence yeah. though. It's like Your voice. typo. It, it felt like poetic. Voice sounds almost. like expression. We'll have more. <laughs> More say, <laughs> more, more of a voice. You yeah. want more of a democratic approach rather than this tyrannical. One, <laughs> more than one vote per category. I don't know yet. It all depends on the voting software, which I have to uh, figure out as well. It would be nice if people could have two votes, three votes, prioritize their votes. That's I love that. Yeah. It's like this is my first choice, second runoff voting. It's awesome. Um, but we'll have, that all depends on the voting software and how compatible it is with the forums. Um, so hang tight. And he's voicing his opinion. Any thought of a judge's true. choice? There is oh, this dude. year a judge's choice category. That's good. But not for a game. It's for a person. Ah. So it's for. And that um, person is James. I'm that's <laughs> right. No, I have not put in enough years yet to even be considered. That would be hilarious if you just create this whole thing for just. That's to, to honor me. Uh, in the fact. judges chose me. Yeah, it's. Um, what did I call it? Um, it's yeah. to, to honor somebody who's put in a lot of work. What is that? What the, where they honor somebody who's... Uh, lifetime Achievement. Life, is, yes, it's, it's a Lifetime sort of like the... lifetime Achievement Award. And that's that's who... Uh, that's the award that are going to go to the judges, I think. Or maybe, no. Yeah. I don't know if I'll keep that just judges. Um, probably because that they... That feels more like a judge thing to do. Because it's yeah. pretty... I mean, like... It's, it's, you know, rewarding someone's life's work through a popularity contest is a little yeah <laughs> it's a little weird it's like john shampoo he makes the best games it's like well no it's a lifetime achievement yeah. there has to be a lot of consideration put into things you know it's why like you know you know like the oscars the lifetime achievement awards are always the people you actually want to give the hear the speech of and they never show it it's like <laughs> yeah. francis ford coppola what does he think about cinema? Let's let's cut away to the Twilight kids. <laughs> it's like, what are we doing? Yeah, it really shows you that it is more of a show than than anything else. It is. It is for is... ratings, and if there wasn't enough ratings, they would just not air yeah. it, right? But I mean, that's television. You can't like no. You, you the... they have to they have to buy time on stations, so they have to pay for that time with ads. And it's to get the ads, they have to make sports, it entertaining. Same with yeah, anything that news televised. I think that's why the yeah. internet rocks because at least there's some voice that are not purely commercial obviously yeah, like this one <laughs> yeah obviously everything is commercial to some degree but it's nice yeah. to have something because yeah. yeah so uh the awards the actual awards came in so mm. i'm going to give you a little preview of what they look like here's the award i gave to myself <laughs> so uh same uh outline design as last year but uh the wording has changed obviously 2019 Atari Homebrew Awards, and I and I dropped the 2600 because we've yeah. expanded to all Atari. 
Um, and I always buy one for myself, so... Yeah, just so to keep it. To, so I have one, you know, to, to see what they look like. So it's the 2018, 2019, so you can see the little difference. See, that's, Actually, it doesn't say 2600. That's the, that's the thing, right? You buying one for yourself, critical. You, like... <laughs> I'm not awarding it to myself. You, like, having a whole room of people <laughs> applause as you receive it is not cool. Best Atari so 2600 homebrew show. Well, I'm the only one, yeah. so I win. <laughs> that's like when your mom's just like you're my favorite son you're like fuck i'm the only one <laughs> yeah damn it you get all pride for seconds so, oh uh, yeah there's other the... shows that showcase 2600 games but we're the only one who does exclusively yeah. 2600 games um so yeah we win by default um and this uh yeah the voting 18th to 25th and then the awards presentation noon pacific time february 1st 2020 very easy to remember. Trying to make it really easy for people. Fierce competition in that category. Yeah, it was. Yeah, the votes are in, <laughs> and I uh, won by a landslide. Yeah, man. <laughs> so the, we're gonna go to the first uh, first game, uh, which is Fat Albert, which is a 2001 fast food hack. Wow. So with these hacks, I like showing off the original game that makes first, a lot of sense. so that we can see where it came from, and compare what has been changed. Uh, so. Let's load it up. Get it over on that screen. And could you press the brightness button? It's like F3 or F4 or something. Yeah, or F10. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, now we can see it. That's pretty important. So, let's go to... Here you can oh, this. Sounds good. And you're in a better space to play games oh this time. Oh my god. It yeah. was night and day, man. I probably shouldn't have done anything the day after, <laughs> but I actually had to work as well. Right. So it was a wise choice for me just to fucking go for it that day, you know? To go like, I'm going to get up, I'm just going to go. Just stay <laughs> active. Yeah, and then... Ah. And then That's I got crash, which was, which was essential to... Okay, so let's switch over to this so you can see what all these weird noises are. Yeah, man. So this is fast food. Um, so press. Actually, that probably won't work because it's an old school game. So you've got some really creepily animated lips there, and you're supposed to eat all the fast food and avoid. Um, what is? Oh, pickles! Don't avoid. Don't eat those purple pickles. Oh, okay, but eat everything else. Everything else. Oh, I can like move around too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's four degree. All oh, it's a two D space. Yeah. Oh damn. Okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> ah, pickles. No, no, that's one. That one's okay. Just the purple pickles. Are wow. Okay. Wow. But um, like, so is there a quota? Like, is there a point where I get in trouble for eating too many? I think it's timed. You're getting fatter. <laughs> So that mean I lost? No, you you made it to the second stage, and I think Fuck it's fast. yeah, okay. No, pickles. No, oh, okay. I see, I see. Yeah. They come in fast at you sometimes. So, uh, this hack was specifically, this hack, uh, not this, but we'll, let's let's go to the hack. Now. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, man. So this is Fat Albert? That is right. Oh, Actually, man. then we, uh, one comes out in 2000. Okay. And this is the fat, fat Albert. This hack. was when it was totally fine to have a Are Fat Albert IP. No, no. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Nowadays, uh, probably not so good. <laughs> yeah. So it's been changed into a purple-headed uh, dude, and uh, this was put out in 2000. So quite an early uh, version of the game. Hey, Dan ABC, welcome. Whoa, okay, so it's going. really neat because, like, um, uh, maybe it's just a luck thing, but I just had a run where I had to just dodge a bunch of pickles. <laughs> <laughs> which is good because it's, it's fat like... Fat Albert on the bottom of the screen. Which is good because it becomes yes. almost like a dodging game at a certain point, too, where you're, like, trying to... I can see how this will scale really nicely now. Yeah, because it's going to be more... Yeah, see, like, it's already getting more harder. More pickles, and it's more about dodging than getting... I'm gonna turn off the phosphor. That is streaky as hell. Sometimes phosphor is good. Sometimes it's not. Um, I so never the watched the TV show. Uh, the animated yeah, show. Yeah, was it good? Like, what was it like? It's quirky. I mean, <laughs> kind of weird, but it's it was good. I mean, I guess that was at a time like uh, when was it? Seventies. Yes. Uh, 
there that's late a, that's 70s? A, that's a crazy time for TV. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of weirdness going on. Oh, but like off. also just like such a different structure, such a different system, such yeah. a different way of seeing things. I mean, there's only so many channels. It's unimaginable to think that like, at least for me, that, that had the amount of control oh, that was... Those. <laughs> that was put into television shows. Oh yeah. Lots. And now nowadays and that was the only thing. It was like, well we got how many channels? Because we're watching a handful. Yeah, yeah it's like, like three. Yeah, how little how how much how much power they had over media. I suppose says it gets very fast. Um so the original was four K and I believe this one is still four this one is the four K version. Okay, so now we're gonna switch over okay, to uh, the updated Whoa. version, which is a 2015 version, and it's got a different colors. It's got, got hearts. hearts instead of pickles. That's badass. And and it's got a sponsorship yeah, and by Jello. Learn how to use your your tablet? Yeah, don't don't. <laughs> the Jello. There you go. Don't eat the dog. Oh, Sorry. let's start over. Yeah, they've okay. changed the graphics to the um, mouse. What the hell's the name of that game? Mouse? Is the mouse boss trap? still? Oh, it has to reset. There we go. Cause I was don't just... eat the dogs. And they changed all the graphics. Uh, I mean, this is... I just don't understand. And they've added in the pudding pops. So eating... So eating the dogs? Dogs bite you, I guess. I see. I don't have the instructions. You know, when I go to McDonald's, I occasionally mistake my Big Mac for... <laughs> yes. For dogs that are and, just... <laughs> and if you just heard, there was a uh, speech done by I supposed to there. Oh, shit. That it goes, hey, 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 hey. And if you've never seen it, that doesn't make any sense. I know the that's reference, his, that's but I don't, know, I don't have it in context. But, like, that's okay. Like, I... That's his catchphrase. Beginning and the end of the show, Bill, or and, and between commercials, Bill Cosby would come on. And talk a little bit about life lessons and oh, teaching and learning. So and, sad, man. Yeah. I can imagine those lessons were legitimate. That was, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Imagine, yeah, he had some <laughs> legit lessons. It's just a bit, yeah. a bit rough now. Yeah, it's a bit rough. It's, it looks like a cat on a plate. I don't know what that's supposed Whoa, to be. Okay, I'm getting like... That, that. Does that look, not look like a cat on oh, a plate? Oh, man, see, they're just barraging you. Now it's cool. It's more of a dodge. Yep. What a tough... This is a fun game. Um, so... This was done by David M., who actually just recently put out... That's one of the characters. And an ad. By Jello. <laughs> um, David M. David Marley actually just put out his first homebrew game. He did a bunch of hacks, but his first homebrew game called Mr. Yo-Yo, which is in progress. He's, he's moving along. Not enough to show on the show yet because there's no scoring yet. Uh, there's just movement and enemies coming. But pretty soon, I think, uh, there'll be a playable version of it where there's, like, an... Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I haven't, uh, haven't hit a dog yet. Good stuff. Uh, Getting we'll better. See. We'll see. Um, so this is, was only released on cartridge, this version. So I suppose it was nice enough to get in contact with Neo Tokyo uh, 2001, who uh, sells this game or sold this game. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still being sold. Pig on a plate. Okay. Not a cat. Pig on a plate. Okay. It's just uh, disturbing that it's alive, you know? <laughs> yes. Uh, nope. No dogs. Yeah, it's turning into a different game now. It's just harder to, like... Oh. And it's got the sound from... Uh... Oh, he made it again. Uh, so, description. Fat Albert, this is from the original hack, Whoa. is a graphic hack of Telesis fast food where you play the role of, that's right, Fat Albert. Player sprite has been changed to resemble Fat Albert. Your getting fatter screen has been changed as well. Oh, to render fire. Fat Albert understand. saying, hey, hey, hey. Hey, ZPH. Hey, Dan ABC. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and uh, so I will. Do you, want to, do you want to give a go? Yeah. And you can read off this. This is Neo Tokyo's oh, fun. write up about his version of the game. It starts from the top. Yep. Jello presents Fat Albert for the Atari 2600. 
And uh, Fat Albert is a hack of the Atari 2600 game Fast Food that was done uh, way back in 2000. I set out to brush it up a little and fixed a few things that I never liked. It bothered me that uh, Fat Albert's head was left as, <laughs> as several shades of purple, <laughs> and knowing that it is an easy fix, I went ahead and corrected it. Yeah, dude, I'm on board with that. Yeah. As most people know, a typical Atari, uh, Atari sprite can only be one color per, hor per horizontal line. That left a problem with the original head sprite since his hair goes down the back of his head. In order to have his face and hair different colors, they can't be on the same horizontal line. With a little That's optical great. trick, it looks like we have two colors on one line, but as you can see in the uh, detail below, it is still uh, only one color per line. I added an ear to fill up the uh, big blank space. Mm, yep. Yeah, good graphics on the Yeah, man, the head. smart little workaround, man. It says, I always have to start tweaking other things once I start on something, which is just how it goes. <laughs> the next thing I did stops. was <laughs> change the title graphic at the bottom of the screen. I added Jello Presents to do a tie-in with Jello Pudding Pops, which is fucking like on point. <laughs> um, a what if back in the day that album was really made for the Atari 2600 instead of fast food and it was sponsored by Jello. The original game, uh, you have to avoid a purple pickle. I guess it was spoiled? With Fat Albert, it seemed better to have something else. How about a dog? The dog was quickly added, but something was missing. It was not animated now. Now it is. Uh, don't get chomped. Oh, so it's like you get eaten by the dog. Right. That's way better than you eating, eating the dog. Purple, purple yeah, than eating the dog, adds yeah. Adds up, man. Um, in the original game, uh, you lose a life slash chance every time Fat Albert eats a purple pickle. You get six lives before the game is over. Each time Fat Albert eats one, it is displayed under the score so you can keep track. I added a line of six hearts that are, are replaced one by one with a dog as you lose lives. Not really needed, but I thought it was Whoa. cool. Yeah. Also awesome. changed the color from purple to red. Yeah. It goes like, Much you know, better for the dog. The next thing was to try to improve the item that Fat Albert eats. Here are the original items and my changes. So he kind of like, he just goes through the list of just changing things over like, you know, um, like cola to french fries, soda pop to pizza, you know, that kind of thing. Right. And he changed like, um, you know, like milkshake to pudding pop. There's some really nice graphics in this version. This yeah, hack. it also just made it your own, which is good. Mm. Um... There's possibility that the voice may be added for the intermission screen and the game over. I think that Which is added. That's yep. badass. To go with Jello Pudding Pops theme, I made up a fake comic book advertisement for the game from 1985, <laughs> where for five UPC codes from Jello, um, $19, you could order a cartridge of Fat Albert for your 2600. I will post an update with any changes in the future. Remember, buy Jelly and <laughs> Pudding Pops. Yeah, man, his ad's hilarious. His ad's so good. Nope. I did pretty good. What did you get? Oh, yeah, man, way better than... 1143. That's great, man. That's double. It was going very, 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 very fast. So, it gets one, one more, and then we'll move on. Sounds good. Let's see. Yeah, it was so oh. fast I could barely see the, the dogs come on the screen. Yeah, I guess that's how the... Oh, oh you got... Yeah, I oh. tried to do that as well. There's no. It looks like there's enough room at the top and the bottom to avoid them, but there kind of isn't. And you had three dogs coming at you in a row. Yeah, pretty much, almost lined up completely. But there's a way that they could be lined up because I've seen two lined up. And if it just, maybe there's something that prevents that in the game. Sometimes now the problem is when things fire at me that are slightly <laughs> red colored. I'm like, <laughs> like ah, run! It's cherries. Yeah, there's a lot of red things. There's the cherries. There's the popsicles that are red in the top. That's the one I always mistake. Yeah. Whoa! Dogs galore! Oh my God! Never-ending dogs! <laughs> Whoa! And the big, uh, the pop, which is red too. Her, her, her. Good stuff. Hey, Tari. So, oh, oh, I like to go for it. <laughs> that dog. Look at me. I'll have to adjust my approach if oh. I plan on winning. Fuck. Yeah. Oh. 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 Whoa. Okay, okay. This is intense. Oh. oh. 
Oh, it gets way intense, man. Yeah, it does. Just so fast that you can barely register what's coming at you. And that's not even like the hardest level either. Oh yeah, you gotta get that thing going. Oh, I get it, it did a bit better. Ah, yeah. I suppose I said, did you hear the wolf sound from the dog? Oh I yeah, didn't, yeah. That was so it's really good. It's, it, it does sound like the. Um... Oh yeah, do you want? To... Oh no, actually, you keep that. We're gonna switch over to the next game. Sweet. Yeah, the wolf sounds good. Woof. So the next one. It's Defender Arcade. Um. Defender is a game I always had a lot of trouble with, especially on the 2600. Um, so we're going to take a look at the original Defender and then Stargate, which this was modeled after, which is Defender 2. Defender. Cool. So this is the original 2600 game. And I just Whoa. find the mechanics of the enemies... Okay, wait one second. I'm just going to turn it down. It's very loud. You can't move yet. I just find the mechanics of the enemies as you move Whoa. across the screen to be very unnatural because they kind of move that? with you. So shoot everything. Those guys are going to go down and Whoa. get your guys. No, okay. Damn. Then you have to shoot them and catch your guys in midair and place them on the ground. The flicker is crazy. Yeah, there's also a lot of flicker in the game. Whoa. It takes out your ship when you shoot. Because it uses, I think, the player character. Okay, you have to rescue your guy, shoot the ship, and then catch him. Hey, oh, oh, I missed it. Death for him. Sorry, Fran. <laughs> so this was we had a great time in boot camp. But it's your time to go. No, it's not. So this was first. This not first posted, but the uh, Defender Arcade was first posted in 2006. Whoa. Okay, that's enough of that. Yeah. Wow. So we crazy. get to see that, um, and then. This this one was modeled after Stargate. Stargate. Uh, there we go. This is 1984. Whoa. So now your ship, uh, your shots don't uh, don't re oh, remove boy. you. You accelerate like crazy. Whoa. The. Uh, Holy cow. Your guys are a lot more visible now on the bottom. Damn. What's There's that? There's no city. Uh, shoot everything, okay. except your guys. Which one? And you've got a little map at the top as well, Damn. so you can see when people are getting uh, no. taken away. Whoa. Oh, two of your guys are being taken away. Whoa, oh, okay. Oh, yep, there I you go. Rescue them. Okay, oh, you got shot. Okay. Play this just a little bit more. Whoa. Yeah, it's really, really fast paced. Eh? Yeah, it, quick. I movement. love this laser sound. Okay, I'm starting to be able to read this map a bit better, I feel. Yeah. What's oh, that? One's being taken away on the far left. There you go. Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> you crashed. Kind of rescued him, but then over. he died. Okay, so now we're going to go to the actual... The Pearl uh, Harbor rescue technique. Is <laughs> not recommended. Not great. So they've changed it to Defender Arcade. Oh, and uh, this is 1982. Cool. Didn't change the date. That's okay. okay. <laughs> Some Orwellian shit. Whoa, okay, so this is the hack? Yeah. No. Uh, I don't... What? Well, we'll get into what's been changed. Defender Arcade is a significant improvement over the original Defender. This version is actually based on Atari's later release of Stargate, which is a far better effort than Defender. You can choose between the two different labels of Defender Arcade. There are five numbered limited editions made before Atari Age picked it up whoa, 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 for the store whoa, whoa, release, whoa, 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 whoa. which is unlimited. So let's read the uh, no. Atari Age store no. information. Oh! Rescue your uh, first guy. Oh. Oh, it was a quick death. <laughs> it was a painless death. I'm not the best. Uh, <laughs> I get, I, I get the job done. Just bombs and warp are on joystick too. Oh, <laughs> bombs. Okay, well. Oh, oh. what the fuck? <laughs> Aliens. Oh my goodness. Uh, so what? We'll how have joystick too? How I've not died? No one will know. I don't know if it picks it up Whoa. or we have to reset. Whoa, this alien is just. 
So aggressive. Oh, yep. So I do have a bomb. Hold on, so, so that means that I like, I got through a level? What, what the fuck is this thing? Whoa. Yeah, you got through a level. Oh. Whoa, that was close. So I've got a bomb here that I can set off anytime it gets a little hectic. How many of those you got? Uh, two left. Whoa, okay, that was shrapnel. <laughs> Damn. Whoa, and this Whoa. thing's just homing in. Tiny, on. too. Got it. <sighs> yeah, I've always found Defender to be very hard. Oh, oh God. There's just like, look. so much going on on the screen. <sighs> okay, it's stressing me uh, out. Defender Arcade is a significant improvement over the original, so this is still for sale, this version, in the Atari Age store. Uh, this version is actually based on Atari's later release of Stargate, which My is a far better God. effort. Talented homebrew author Bob Decre... De oh boy. Bob Decrescenzo... Crescenzo? 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 Oh my god. That's, it's probably Italian. Yeah, oh yeah. Because uh, I recognize that there's a guy with a I know. D -E, though? Uh, maybe. We'll have to oh, see. Your first oh, rescue. Get him! Oh, do I He's grab dying. him? Oh, oh he shit. crashed into I the mountains. I don't understand the concept. So <laughs> <laughs> it's taking me. You have to grab him and then lower him to the ground. Oh god, do you get points? Uh, or it, or I don't it's... know. You just don't lose a guy. You have to defend all the guys. Oh, Defender. God. Okay, so oh, one's, one's being taken away. There you go, overboard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there he is. No! Oh, oh god, it's so throttly. Because, like, right on the edge of the screen, it's like, then it, you see how it kind of, like, fires yeah. you forward almost? It's very interesting. Whoa! Oh, get whoa! <laughs> Jesus. Holy cow. Uh, oh, yeah, and this you can choose your label. There's two different labels. Uh, whoa! If you were to buy it. Deep now. Label designed by Atari Boy 2600 doesn't really say what the differences are. Between the two? Yeah, man. Bet um, between... I s yeah, because it seems the same. It looks the same, except for the title screen. But I'm sure... I'm sure this uh, bomb on Joystick 2 was added? Don't but even no, I don't think so. Try. Oh, bonuses. Oh! You, prob you probably die completely if you lose all your guys. That makes sense. I mean, that's the whole point. Like, you can't defend nothing. Yeah, exactly. You've lost. Your whole colony is gone. Colonel, I've successfully protected the base. No one's alive, but I'm here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Last man standing. Uh, you soldier, I don't mission. know if you understand. One's being taken away. Well, and gone. Oh, and you're gone now, too. Dodging left, right, and center. Okay, so this uh, B button oh, is the okay. bomb. Whoa. Oh. Let's get okay, this over good here. stuff. So if you see me in like, um, you just way less enemies in Defender Arcade. Ah, uh, cool. Oh, you okay. just tell me when you when you when you want to bomb. You just oh, shut. Tough. Okay, I'll keep my eye open. Yeah. Please. There's auto fire. How many bombs do I get? Uh, three. Three bombs. Okay. Check this guy. Oh yeah, he's oh. taken away. One well, he guy. was close enough to the ground that he. Oh, far left, man. Oh, I killed. Oh, that one's being. Whoa. Oh, no, no, no. oh, soft landing, I guess. Maybe he just didn't take it up high enough, I think. Oh. Oh, oh no. Sorry, dude. Sorry, man. Oh, Is that no. It? I think. Oh, oh my god, he was off screen. Oh, sorry, dude. But look, you did way better than I did. Oh, my god. In terms of. Whoa, 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 whoa! That takes multiple yeah, hits. Yeah, this thing whoa, is like four ridiculous. Hits. You can kind of see what's happening off screen if you look up above. Oh, spawn. That one. Thank you. I just figured it was there. It was a there good, we go. It was a good oh, that one being taken away. Damn it! Okay, I gotta, I gotta use these bombs more. It's definitely better than the original Defender, I find, for uh, ease of movement. See, the original one's so tricky. Yeah, um, the screen wrap is a bit tough when that it happens. Pushes you over really yeah, quick when but you turn. Yeah, like, but like once you learn it, I don't think it's um it's out of this bad. world. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
it's the worst. Yeah. I've hit it so many times. Oh. It actually should have a sound when your guy is being taken yeah. away, I think. Like, dee -dee 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 -dee. So you're like, oh my god, somebody's being taken away. I gotta get there, right? I think that would be a really good addition. But he's long done this game, so I can't really <laughs> <laughs> yeah, suggest it's... any add-ons now. Too used to helping out people. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're, yeah, we're too used to sort of the in-progress game. Stuff. Oh, okay, okay, I'm gonna kill him with the no, bomb. No, 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 no. Oh my god. So, he shot just before he died. Yeah. 13,350. That's one beat. I'm gonna go again. That's yeah, okay. man, please do. I'm not finding this too bad. I remember playing uh, the original Defender back in the 80s, 90s. I was like, I just, I just can't play this game. It's too crazy. This is a neat game. I like the laser oh! a lot. Yeah, great sound, great visuals on the laser. I wonder what that's made with. That Even made just with? the, just the feeling of it is. Oh, it is made with the uh, playfield. Ah, uh, makes nice. sense. It's just, just obliterating people. It's very cool. I always thought the playfield would make for a great. Um, Burning. Yeah, because you can't really get away from them. I always thought the playfield would make for great uh, ammunition. Like uh, I planned a game uh, shooter out using this, using the playfield, because you could just fill the screen with your shot completely. Yeah. I gotta save you with some bombs. I just try to like. Thank you. That that kind of stuff. Yeah, while he's home. I'll just there. wait till these crazy guys show up and I'll just do it. Yeah. Lost all my lives so. though. Yeah, it's kind of rough. I have to like keep my eye open. Which is... <laughs> oh, damn. Ah! First wave's not too bad because it doesn't have those crazy enemies in it. Yeah. It just has these kind of normal dudes that aren't too threatening. Okay. Yeah, he's... Ooh. Hard game. Man. The momentum you have in this. You really gotta plan for that. Because you try and turn around and it's like, nope, oh. nope, not gonna happen. Oh man, so my class, one one guy was like, um one guy in my class is like a, a weightlifter. Oh so yeah. He's like a he's build and it was like borderline bullying when I was in class. It was rough. Against you, yeah, other man. People. To me, it was like oh I walked God. away from that because in the moment when stuff like that happens, I don't really like. Well, it's no point in engaging. No, but I was kind of like at home when I was like, "Dude, I just had surgery yesterday. Like how you were behaving towards me was not." But it's but it's insecurity, you know. That's the, oh, that's yeah. the sad part. But yeah, it's so interesting teaching, um, and it's also interesting because this guy's in his like forties, you know. Oh really? Yeah, um, and but I think that's what makes it even worse is it that does. you know I think he's it's just like that chip on his shoulder and it's like you know teaching so rough sometimes because I feel like you end up getting like the the short end of <laughs> short end of the stick you know you end up dealing with a lot of people's like relationship to authority basically. Well, when you are the authority, oh thank you, that's definitely one of the I needed it for. Yeah, oh, that guy's on me. Look at him. It's all purple yeah, and crazy. So aggressive, you know. You just want to tell that that guy, use your words, not your fists, uh, not your yeah. It's like, come on. Well, it's, but it's more like that, like that kind of like macho, like what's the problem, man? Just just walk it out. Just you know, you got to be working, you got to be moving, you know. Like, what do you need to do? Oh, look at you, old man, walking with your walker. Like that was because it was <laughs> oh like it was that kind of shit. And I'm like, dude, I just. But to what end? I'm like, I just had surgery <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like, what are you doing? Here, give you one more yeah, go on sounds, that. Sounds good. That is a game I think you need to really practice a lot with. Yeah, because this, this is, is it's own. challenging. You got to take it a little bit more patiently. Because I'm thinking like there's a time limit, but there's no time limit. There's no panic, right? He's fine. <laughs> He's got a. They've got kind of okay parachutes i'm guessing yeah but they, they have to you but know. when they get up to a certain height it's like i don't know what the cutoff is though oh, oh poor yeah. dude there's another poor one going friend, up you know ah oh, oh my god just right below it's friendly Bro. fire sorry that's like the worst name for something <laughs> yeah it's friendly worries. it's friendly it's only friendly fire it's, it's like it's the ultimate in double speak for 
yes. Oh, one's being Jeez, taken off. Man, oh, two of them are. Both sides, dude. Oh, you gotta pick one. Make a choice who you're gonna rescue. That guy's gonna die. Yeah. Ooh, Whoa! I'm what? Trying. What the hell just happened there? Whoa! <laughs> he like flipped out and started floating midair. Holy cow! Okay. Oh, missed it. Oh yeah, I gotta help you out. That's okay. Oh, I, oh, I pressed it, but it was like okay. a second too late. It didn't have too much of it. Oh god, oh thanks. Yeah, oh, that guy was getting a bit close. Jeez. Oh thanks. Oh, oh man. Just, I tried to press it again. But it's okay. I, I was just kind of swinging wildly from left to right, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was okay, on good, you. Good, good, good. At least I'm doing better score. -wise. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> bad timing there. Oh, you've got like two guys left. One guy. Just hang around that. No, oh, two. Okay. Okay. So you got two left. Because your radar so up only... above. Whoa. Oh. Did it I work? I think it just almost reset the thing. Yeah, I think there's a, a warp. Whoa. Holy cow. Okay, what's? And oh. you've got one guy left. I wonder what happens. I guess the game is over. I don't have any bombs left, but... Well, we didn't find oh. out. <laughs> That's... Oh, come out and take... Yeah, it's a good game, man. Oh, saucers come out and chase you if you take too long, so there is a time moment. Oh, uh, that was hyperspace. That was hyperspace. So it's like, here, have a random, terrible location. Damn, I got to go to hyperspace? That's good news. Yeah, it is. Uh, so we're going to uh, jump to the... Th third game now oh, sounds good yeah i because i yesterday went back to the doctors to get my oh, like, yeah. stuff looked at and um he was called into emergency surgery the night before so everybody was booked up so my appointment was at 4 30 and i didn't get to see him until maybe six okay um and that gave you an idea wow. of his day and people were losing their minds and it was like it was walking into like i felt really I just put my headphones in and zoned in, but yeah. uh, but it was like because people were in pain, and yeah. so I got talking to the receptionist, and it was nice because I got to have some real human <laughs> contact. But wow, I really you really forget when people are in pain. Oh, nothing matters. Behavior <laughs> is out the window. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like you don't care. You just want the pain to stop. And then everyone, and I don't know what it is. I'm like a magnet for stuff, so, but I think it's because I'm like I like it too. But everybody in that office was wanted to talk to me and tell me about what surgery <laughs> oh, they had. No. So it was this weird, like the, it was like the Breakfast Club of surgery. <laughs> like I was like, what are we doing? Oh, but we were God. stuck for an hour and a half, all waiting. Yeah. So I mean, what else is there? That's so, the forefront of their minds is this pain. This and so and it was all shared. So everyone was like, "What were you in for? What were you in?" For? <laughs> I was like, "Well, in the war, it was a gunner, and we saw some action. It was tough. It was so yeah. It was a weird day. It was good to do it, but what an experience. But but she um because it's like um under the category of of surgery that's not necessarily um, essential. Right, um, you're bumped. I'm bumped. Over and, and over. Totally. and But also at the same time, the office also deals with a lot of plastic surgery. So okay. we were talking, I was talking to the receptionist, and man, some of those plastic surgery stories are just like nightmarish. And then I was... Were these elective or non-elective? She or? said the whole range. Oh, okay, just all over the place. Summer. Yeah. And, and she was telling me, though, like her one anecdote to me was she said, you know, we feel like we have an opioid crisis when I was like, what well, we do. We but do. she's like, but she said, but you know what? She's like, medically, she said, if you go into a burn victim oh, unit, she's like... Before, Give me more. <laughs> before yeah. opioids, it would be screaming. <sighs> and after opioids, it would be silence. And she said, you have no idea the difference there. And she's of like... Of course, yeah. And she said, it's also weird. And I kind of had a hard heart at the end of the day. She said, it's weird to be dealing with someone who's angry about their, like nose job and then someone else who's like literally had like parts of their skin grafted because and it's like i was like totally Man. different level I, I was just an insight into what that world must be like to be those doctors and to have to like deal with the range and to be behind and literally why were you behind because someone's um appendix burst and you needed to save their life yesterday yeah so, understandable <laughs> so so this is galaxian uh we're going to uh play the original first Fuck yeah. And then we're going to go to the 2010 Galaxian Hack by Damn, Nuki Shea a, a and Kev Kevin Gal Moss 3. Galaga this, vibe. Um, yeah, this is actually a precursor to Galaga. Really? So it went from... Um, I mean, it's got the G, the Ga. 
It's a prefix. <laughs> yeah. It went from uh, Space Invaders, where they didn't yeah. dive down, to Galaxian, where they do dove down a little bit, to Galaga, where there's a lot more going on. Yeah. To okay. Galagon. Oop, oop, oop. Oh. Pressing buttons on the wrong thing. There we go. So this is the original. Um, it's fine. It's got a, a really weird yellow border. Okay, which I'm just somebody spamming. I don't know if that's the best. Thing why not? Doing. Yeah, if you can get a couple in the top while def while avoiding and defending yourself, why not? Oh, I so see now why. Somebody theorized that the yellow border was there to differentiate where they could go left to right. Because if it wasn't, it would look like they're stop stopping arbitrarily. But I don't think that really matters. Some somebody thought that was a good idea. The yellow border. There's a lot of really What's interesting. What's that white guy, man? Uh, it's the top guy. To have a different color. Might be worth oh, more. I'm oh an idiot. no. What am I doing? And this is available in the Atari H forums, just like the last one and the next one will be. Um, so that gives you a good idea of Galaxian. the original one where it's coming from. I love it. And so we're going to go to a Galaxian Arcade. And it's got a fake boot up screen. If you've ever been in an arcade where you've turned, when they've turned on, we are the Galaxians, turn on a machine. It goes through like the ROM and display stuff. I appreciate the simple mission brief. Destroy <laughs> aliens. And a beautiful, nice screen Which there. aliens, sir? All of them. <laughs> so it's got the Namco. Oh, you pressed oh, it. Oh, I'm sorry. Jumping ahead. Oh, now we have to start it over. Fuck. <laughs> I just, I saw something coming at me, so I thought oh, it was, it was like thought you were playing. It was more reflexive than it was. Dude, Atari's hunting for something. Oh. Bugs? Maybe. So we've got the score table there, which is really nice. Very reminiscent of modern uh, Champ Games type games. This app's more colorful. It's got the Namco at the top. You can see the characters are a lot better. Yeah. The top guys. And I think they've made them a lot closer to the arcade version. The ship has been improved on the bottom as well. Let's turn off the phosphor. Oh, maybe we'll keep it on for the ship. Yeah, we'll keep it on. Okay, now I can jump into it. Let's do cool. this. Let's attack. This. And it starts with the button, which is always nice. Bam. Better sounds. Way better sounds. The, it says uh, from the forums, it says the goal was to update the graphics, but unfortunately the program doesn't like its sprite to be using I like anything that the but six are pixels. A bit bigger. It just oh, feels a little, yeah. you know, and they're. Whoa! <laughs> went that way but he but if i went that way would have hit him yeah it was just at it's that tough. it was at that rough point yeah much more colorful graphics and it's starting to feel like christmas isn't it <laughs> uh with the cold outside yeah yeah and the christmas just music winter vibes playing you know? here and there unfortunately and they did the tree lighting recently which is nearby um, yeah which is nice Every year they. So you're, uh, you're going away for Christmas, eh? Yes. I How am. long are you gone for, man? Oh, just over a week. That'll um, be nice, though. Where are you going? Off to the in laws out east to Ottawa. Oh, man. Ottawa must be beautiful. It's cold, so no. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the cold. That's um, true. Man. And usually they. Dude! Tari. You guys see that? It's like having fun scratching. <laughs> what are you doing? You having fun? It's like scratching the box. I'll show you the box that he's scratching. It is full of the awards! All of the awards. Congratulations! Some awards in here. Yeah, I gotta get away from these corners. Like, I've died multiple times from these guys, like, swooping to the right or oh, left. Oh, yeah, but and the then it's... Well, there's nothing you know, I can do. Room. There's, like, there is just a point where you're just, you're just gonna die. It's where I'm actually, like, noticing that you kind of... So you can see You kind of need it. to get these guys as they're, um... Bomb diving at you, Yes, it like. before they get too close. Like, like that one I, I kind of lucked out. Oh. I think only one at a time come down at least at this point oh no now it's two ha <laughs> ha whoa atari whoa. atari just... attack cat oh three Jesus. oh they're on you now okay, okay i'm just spamming until i die the goal is to update the graphics but unfortunately the program doesn't like its sprites to be using anything but six pixels because of the reflect register to handle Spray. some of the fine positioning 
I started by hacking the color stored in the player ship. This led to one of the bugs that remains unfinished. Um, obviously this was finished. I believe Galaxian Arcade was released in the Atari Age store. Yes, it was. So let's read from there. Uh, hacked no. by Jess Reagan. Reagan. And I guess that's... Oh, shit. Is that new cliches real Right name? as I hit the thing, man, it's like the end screen came up. Who found New Cliche's real name now? It's been a mystery. Jess Reagan. Galaxian Arcade is an enhanced version of the original Galaxian produced by Atari. Graphics have been redesigned, so both the aliens and the player ship closely resemble their arcade counterparts. Also, the bright orange border on the edges of the screen has been removed. Let, uh, we only wonder why Atari didn't do them this themselves when they first released the game. So, better graphics. Uh, I think the sound has been changed a bit. It's really great now. Um, and the border has been removed. So, just overall general improvements. Probably a star field, which would be, which would be good as well. But it looks like they use the bullets. Bullets for uh, the ball. Ball for bullets. Still maybe could have been done. The Atari Age store does not have the recolor. Oh, this is nicer. Oh, okay. So this is an updated one. Hey, they should. That's uh, great, the Atari Age store should update this. This is the proper the version. Yeah, this is the updated from the Atari Damn. Age store. Is this still the same game? Oh, uh, no. This is, oh. Um, you started. Just started over. You, well, it, well, the problem was was like as soon as I died last time, I literally hit the oh. button right as the screen came up, and that's it was, a problem. There should always be a pause because it was a delay, and it was just bad timing. So when I die this time, I'll make sure not to hit it, so that way we can oh, see. Oh, we can manually reset it. Well, no, but we can see like what the end game screen is. Oh, right, yeah. Because that would be nice. Because it was just it was I didn't mean to. It was just instant. So programmers, when you're making your game, make sure if you have the button to start the game, which you should, um, when there's a game over, make sure there's a long enough delay so that people that are firing are pressing the button uh, don't accidentally restart the game. Because then you don't see the game over, you don't see your score. Ooh, Do you see, like, that's, yeah. that's, that's where it's pretty rough, right? Oh, it just starts there. Oh, okay, okay that's, that's good. So it doesn't show you your score, it just goes right to this. Huh. Why didn't you show your score again? You have to wait? Galaxian, show me my score. Let's see. Come on. That's an issue, too. That's your score there. So you have to wait yeah. a bit to see your score. 37, I, did, I did better last time. I was like 4,000 something. And I was 4,000. So it has auto fire, which is always nice to have that option. It's hard when they push you into the corner. It's the, yeah. it's the left corner that's the fucked one. Let's get that guy. Oh, I should have gone to the right. He was pushing me in there. But yeah, man, I can't wait for this group to be done with my students. <laughs> get the ne a next fresh batch. Oh my god, this has been the hardest group ever. Uh, yeah, it's I, tough because you don't know what you're getting. You don't do you, you don't approve them or disapprove them. They just no. pay their money and they're in. Totally, and it's tough because I mean, when you get that kind of alpha male bully type, it really just draws all the focus, all the attention. Uh, it's just like this thing in the room you got to deal with, and it's you know, it's just yeah. egos, man. And it's hard because if, 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 as a teacher, you just gotta do it. Something's happening. Did you notice, like, pausing? Like, it's your ship stopping every once in a while? Not really, but. Pressing right? But I'm also not as, like, tuned to these games. Yeah. Like, I'm just struggling to survive most of the time. <laughs> so it's not like I'm, like, uh, it's not like. Noticing little things. Precision movements are not gonna change my game radically. <laughs> I see. <laughs> you know, I'm not at that level yet, but it's very possible that that's what's going on, man. There. Yeah, I you was pressing to... right. I'm gonna start it over. Oh, it's down. Not good, not good. When you press right, 
right and down stops your ship. Right and up doesn't. Left and down doesn't. Left and up does. Whoa. Problem. Problem, problem, problem. That's not fun. That is a huge bug. That's tough for joysticks, man. Yes. Yeah, I guess if you're like, if you're on the like little, uh, you might want to pop over to the. Little, yeah, I think that's worse. Because that would you, then you just do go left and right. Little D pad. Uh, that D pad is not very precise. It's kind of mushy. Ah, oh, okay. And does get to the ups and downs when you're pressing left and right. Oh, then fine. then we're in so trouble. Does this. So that is definitely a bug that needs to be Sadly rectified. Programming. I'm surprised that wasn't squashed. Guess everybody's playing with a keyboard? <laughs> Mostly on emulation. Come on, get that. But that has killed me like 100% of the times in the last game. This one I was just experimenting. And that's why you need shows like this. That's correct. <laughs> or, or at least posting uh, your game in the forums. There's nothing for better than just out. getting some strangers to play it. And <laughs> <laughs> Criticizing you. No. We want the games to be uh, really good. But That's just to, just to give perspective on the, on the whole deal. Yeah. Like if these little things, these these minor little things help, help the game out, all the better. If I couldn't make it past level three... Okay. Oh, that's two in the bottom corner. Yeah, so that gives you an idea. I almost beat level three. Well, I've wasted a bunch of lives, so... I'm gonna actually reset, play properly. Yeah, see if you can... I'm sure you can, but that's... Now that I know to be more precise with the joystick... It's gonna be a bit easier. Be a little bit easier? Sometimes... You gotta understand the limitations of the game to be able to work within the game. It's like, oh, this thing does that, I have to avoid that, which will help you uh, play the game. So yeah, it's funny with the Super Bowl thing. I'm so out of it when it comes to that stuff. Yeah, I just, I, I don't even watch things that are tangentially related to sports. So if something big is happening, like, I just totally out of it. And our, um, our social media is so... Uh, refined now that if you're not interested in a subject you never see outside your bubble that's such a good point man so if you're not f f um, friends with people who like sports and you never click on things that are related to sports Facebook Instagram will just never show you anything about it yeah it's like I'm not wasting my time and advertising dollars on somebody who never looks at this thing yeah but you're right that it become it's that filter bubble problem yeah. I know, like, for me, I'm such a radical weirdo. Like, I, I look at such a range of bizarre things <laughs> that I'll get this what? this really hilarious, like, um, like these recommendations at a certain point where right. I can just I can feel like the 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 like the the pathway, you know. <laughs> I'll watch my like YouTube yeah. evolve as like I get interested in different things, which is so mm, cool that that happens. Right. It is. But at the same time, it's also like, Ugh. what the, am I missing out? Well, so like the one that I've been fighting is I told you guys that I'm like done with this like game I love playing this Path of Exile well right. of course they're coming out with 3.9 and 2 <laughs> so oh, they're releasing okay. like a like they're releasing like a brand new like sequel to the game and I'm literally like not watching anything because I'm like I don't want those dopamine receptors in my brain right. getting any stimulation so that at any point I'm like wanting to do it because I just can't lose the time I just can't mm -hmm. afford ooh that was some good dodging uh, that was very good dodging I want to say luck, but no, I did do that. But like, so I find myself having to resist the the YouTube algorithm, you know? Yeah, and it's almost it'll too go good. away eventually. Yeah, I mean, if you stop clicking on Path of Exile over and over again, well, it'll be like no, it'll fill up your roster and it'll go down. And well, down. see, that's what was happening, but they Damn also it, it did it to me. They also oh. know, man, that I'm for sure someone they should market to. So with the new release, they've just hit oh, me. Oh, yeah, it's Even, like he was interested. They know that they're they're that's how they get you, man. Okay, we're going to move on to our last game. So that was actually a lot of fun. I like Galaxian. Bam. I mean, I love Galaga, so that kind of makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it feels like a Galaga like um, yeah. influence for sure, you know? It's just there's no double ships. It's amazing what that yeah. does. That changes the whole game. Yeah, it was a little One simple little... add-on. What else yeah. is different? Double ships. Um, obviously, the bonus level makes a huge fucking difference. 
yeah, the bonus levels, there are different types of ships, like ones that split off. You get the lobster kind of ones. Yeah, the yeah. lobster thing. Um, I can see where they just took that like a little bit farther. The uh, Galaga bosses sometimes come down with other guys, like three at once. And is there like a, a proper big boss in Galaga? No. 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 Just waves. Just those guys at the top, yeah. kind of. But they're... I guess the bonus you have levels to hit them are twice. sort of... You have to hit them twice. That's, ah, that's yeah. the difference. Um, so the next one is made off of a uh, Berserk. A lot of Berserk um, hacks have been made. I think it's because it's such a simple concept that it can be molded into a lot of things. So this is the original Berserk. Oh, shit. I so, have... There you go. Because it's you against enemies in a maze. Whoa. Like it just, it's such a simple kind of concept. Uh, do that people it can start be... chasing me at a certain point? They start shooting at you at a certain point. So you gotta be... Oh yeah, and after a, a certain amount of time, uh, the big boss boss dude comes out. Because I think I played this kind of game before. One you did in a certain form. Wasn't wasn't like Tanya? I remember what we played. In. I remember. T I think that might have been on like the the um, Halloween show even. Uh, oh, there might have been a Halloween hack of this. I, or there would have been the, the, the... I just remember playing something like this with Tanya and Tanya going like, What? She was... <laughs> <laughs> she, There's also... She was super upset. Spiceware's um, frantic version of this. Whoa! Oh, run and shoot. Yep. Oh. oh, bad luck. You can shoot their bullets. Obviously, that's really hard. Um, okay, so we've seen this. Everybody's seen this. We know what that is. Oh, sorry. Oh. It was just, I literally, <laughs> as you hit uh, no it, problem. I hit it. So we're going to get into Doctor versus Daleks, which is quite a reskin of this. Cool. Um, so it's a Doctor Who. We don't hear it for a second. No, what was it? It was the guy was in chat. It was for sure the Halloween show. It wasn't this, but it was like you. I think you were vacuuming up, like you were like getting ghosts or something. And he was like, there were two guys there, and they were like from Poland or something. This was a Halloween show. Vacuuming ghosts. I might could not be vacuuming ghosts, but I remember. I remember Berserk style yeah, stuff going I can't on. Yeah, remember which one. Hopefully, someone remembers. I I just think it's for sure. Anyways. So this is I supposed to canine. Game. So some uh, interesting tunes God, here. Doctor Who, don't press the button oh, yet. <laughs> we have to look at the options. I'm such an idiot sometimes. <laughs> okay, okay. So we've got the dog at the bottom, which is apparently a canine. Uh, named canine. I am not a Doctor Who fan. Um, it's a bit too cheesy for me. Yeah, I've never been. Some episodes are fine. I saw that episode with the the um. Uh, statues yeah that's i mean the, that's one of the most brilliant that's the things peak ever. of like the show so yeah i that's... try to do that i try to watch like the what people regard as like, the, like but doctor who if you want to complete that show what is like 15 goddamn years <laughs> yeah a lot of episodes and you'll never complete it because there's some lost episodes from way back in the day and yeah. bbc just like nah we'll just erase those yeah no we need to is... reuse this tape nobody, nobody wants to get a care these. about this doctor show yeah so this is first posted in 2015, January 23rd. This build is from January, July 10th, 2016. Bunch of options. Oh, there. I'm invincible. Invincible. <laughs> rebound? Yeah, yeah, let's play with rebound. Cyberman? Not sure what We're going to find out. Uh, leave the bonus life, I guess. Yeah, Daleks shooting. Daleks shooting. Uh, all sure, directions. Sure, let's do sure. it. Okay. For 50 years. Oh, God. Somebody My dropping off package? Sounds right. Tari's disturbed. He's like, yo. Okay, let's do it. You will not succeed. Whoa. Yeah. So a refresh of the graphics here. Movement is a lot better. <laughs> yeah, they do shoot each other. Whoa. So you can coax them into shooting each other. Oh, run the hell out of there. Yeah, don't yeah, touch the walls. Yeah, because you you had to fight this skull thing that would come at you. It was a Halloween game. Oh. Do you remember? It was a reskin of Berserk then. And he was there, and he was like, um, and it had some weird name for the guy. And you were like, and it, oh. Exterminate. Evil oh. Otto. Yeah. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's... that's the original name for the guy in the game. Evil Otto. Um. 
Evil Auto is a... So, Doctor Who Berserk has been done twice, and Berserk sampled speech has been done, but not together until now. And that is, I suppose, as um, putting together all the all the different things. Evil Auto is a Cyberman. Yeah, because do you remember that game? What was that game called? Oh, I'd Sorry. look it up, but I'd have to. No, up don't there. even worry about it. I'm, I'm, I'm just. So, faster play. Sh choose enemy shots off, a normal or diagonal. Atari box support, which we can't do right now. Turn on and off no. difficulty player two. Says one of two things every fire press. Whoa. Suggested phrase to say when events occur, like when Cyberman appears, player dies, etc. Uh, developers submit your speech strings. Try to make a British accent. Other under the hood changes, <laughs> like speech samples, doesn't roll on TV, a lose sync, no black lines on the left, which is always nice. So a lot no. of games, when they add in the speech, they don't time it nicely, so that uh, the TV screen would roll, which uh, I suppose has been able to. Oh, you shut the shut. Yeah, he goes nuts. If there's no guys left on the screen, he goes fast. Yeah. So if you're trying to get away, make sure you leave one guy alive um, when you're close to an exit. There you go. I love this Atari Vox business. We got some HAL 9000. Oh! oh right to a wall. I just thought I would like... Yeah, you have like about a second or two before they oh. start <laughs> shooting. I wanted to go down. I gotta get better with these controls. Nice. Oh, shooting fast. Oh, oh it's quite the position. You will not succeed. Well, eventually, yeah. Run out of lives. And they run into walls. Oh, they don't know where the walls are. Yeah, they, they don't know where their friends are. At me. Oh man. <laughs> Rip at a certain R. point. R.I.P. Oh god. 3250. Evil auto. <laughs> is that laughing or is it alert? I, I, I feel like. It's a laughing alert, you know, it's... <laughs> <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Time to... Oh, oh he kills those guys, wow. too, if he runs into them. Interesting. Is Doctor Who famous over the over the Atlantic? Yeah, too? yeah, I definitely know. Oh, everybody's People love it here. I mean, it's a niche thing, like, yeah. for sure. Like, I feel like it's very fanatic, you know, in a way. Like, it, it reminds me a lot of the... Shoot each other. The, the you know like the the television show Supernatural mm, yeah. the way that fan base is feels similar to Doctor Who where they just fucking love it you know yeah it's it's it is like that kind of like love and and it is like I don't think anyone hates Doctor Who everyone's just like eh, it's Doctor Who but yeah, like they either think it's cheesy or yeah or they just go in yeah, whatever in the same way like everyone's like I, don't, I haven't met someone well, that like doesn't like Supernatural but they're kind of like well it's a show and then you get the people that are just like holy cow over the top. Next yeah. level love. Yeah, because the show Supernatural filmed here, there's people that follow it around and try and stalk the stars and, and... I dated a girl that was like that, man. That was that was a, that was an interesting <laughs> month, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I bet. Um it was big in nerd circles in the late seventies, eighties when on cable. Oh yeah. people first doctor was Tom Baker. Watching yeah, that was mine is, first as well in the 80s. What a fucking brilliant goddamn network television choice of all time to just be like, he dies and is resurrected in a new skid. Yep, and just, and, so smart. And, that it, and he, like the fact that, oh god, I think that's the smartest, like, understanding the medium of television and just being oh, like, yeah. well, this IP is working. Let's <laughs> just this, keep it going. This actor got a, uh, got, is done. Let's just do a new one. And I think that also keep, kept the show alive for so long. If yeah. that didn't happen, Happen, it's like yeah it just refreshes it even the the, the i think the attitudes of the new doctors are a little different you yeah, know it's the like way they operate new energy you know yeah oh are you a fan of the show like red dwarf 
Uh, an extreme fan. Oh, okay, course. cool, man. Oh I my saw. God. I saw, only seen like two episodes, but that's one that's like I always think of as like similar to Doctor Who in a way where you just fucking love it, or you yeah, or find it super cheesy. Yeah, like it's like I think it's like way different than Doctor, but I just mean yes. in terms of the fandom. It's of, a like, comedy. First. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I've been watching it since the late '80s uh, when they showed it on PBS. Um. And yeah, I, I own all the DVDs and Blu-rays of it. I went to a meet and greet in Seattle once for it. Um, I have had marathons. Damn, I am um, <laughs> for, for Red Dwarf. The, I own all the books. The only the only episode <laughs> I remember seeing as a kid, because um, I, I didn't see that much of it, was one where there's a guy who's got this like. Um, what is it, this weird holographic game he plays? Oh, but he okay. just does it to have sex with one of the characters. He doesn't care. I'm pretty sure this is Red Dwarf. Uh, that did happen. And then and then they go in this actual mission, and he doesn't actually know anything about the mission. I remember that being one of the funniest episodes I've ever seen. Hmm. Am I... Am I... Like, the, yeah, am it's I better, better, than, better Than Life is the game yes. that they play. They have to put on, you know, helmets and go inside the game, which is like a thing now. VR is totally. Real now. It wasn't then. It was very, very rudimentary back then. Um, and he does, he does do, go back. It depends which episode, because they did it a couple times. Oh, okay. Um, but the first one they did, yeah, the guy with the H goes back in it and uh, meets up with his his old girlfriend, or at least the one night stand he had. But VR, the VR they use, mostly kind of reads your mind and gives you everything you want. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, his mind rebelled against him, and and wants him to suffer <laughs> <laughs> because that he 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 thinks he deserves suffering in his life. What a great so, premise. So he immediately gets his uh, one night stand pregnant with like six kids. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, has to marry her, and uh, is leading a terrible life. Uh, oh, God. But, but then he, but the game makes you forget you're playing the game. You think it's real, so you get stuck in it. See, this is badass premise. Uh, it's better in the book. Yeah, like, they go dark in the book, way dark. Uh, in the show, they keep it quite light. Yeah, because it's a kind of a comedic show ultimately. Yeah. Um, wow, that's a good like. This is a good, I love that sci-fi premise too of just this like that that old thing of, of like your projected reality of what you think is paradise is probably not. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's such a simple. What does theme. your mind want? Yeah, and that's probably actually not what is going to make you happy. Yes, and um, then in another episode they have to actually go in and rescue rescue one person from it but they're living the life in it like they're, 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 they're fucking a king stoked. they're eating all they want and I think this is probably the one that I that's saw it. that's the second one I I, but I remember just loving the and they're like no go away that. I don't want to go out of this re reality yeah what a, and what a what a great timely message actually like mm -hmm. uh, not 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 timely in like a wholesome sense but timely in the sense of like wow that actually is almost more resonant now than ever that you have to just like you can live this virtual life that is like on you Instagram can, or, or, or social media. Yeah, or Second Life or whatever. How's that fair? Oh, dude. I think he comes from where you spawn, so you have to like move away oh. from where you Remember this from the Evil Auto one? That's right. Um, Gotta get the hell out of here then. That's fair. That makes sense. That yeah. he spawns where you come in from. It wasn't available to me as a kid. When Cybergoth added the TARDIS to Starfire, I had to look it up. Now I'm a big fan. Fuck yeah, man. Yeah, yeah this is a very uh, nice little add-on. It doesn't really change gameplay too much from the original, oh, but so it's, dude, so you read it's all reskinning those, it. You read all those Red Dwarf books. How many books are there? Uh, I think there's three or four Damn. novels. Who? Like, that's, that's cool. Yeah, and they are way better than the TV show. Yeah, man, sci-fi books are very cool. Yeah. Um, because they take the universe so much deeper. Oh, man, I the feel characters, like... the characters, so much more backstory. Science fiction and horror in, in, in books are they're, they're sort of the, almost the only genre I read these days because everything else feels like you can kind of get it somewhere else, but those are things which are so much better in the mind, you know? Oh, yes. Like, especially sci-fi. Having to imagine, like, these scenarios and, like, you know? Jesus. 
And then same with like horror too. Oh yeah, it's, um, it, horror is a mo- lot, uh, a lot more vivid. I in basically reading. All I read these so days is... get into is, people's minds. Yeah, all I read these days is non-fiction or, like, um, maybe, like, sci-fi or horror. Um, because anything else to me is sort of quenched. Like, it's tough to, like, want to... I guess I do my role-playing thing, which is the fantasy. But I've never liked fantasy things, actually, weirdly. I like role-playing things, but... Mm-hmm. Beyond, like, hulking and stuff like that. But even that is, like... But like a time in my life, you know? Yeah, I almost exclusively read uh, nonfiction. <laughs> yeah, I, when I reach for the for a book, it tends to be nonfiction these days. Like, oh, a book about video games, cool. Yeah, or like... <laughs> even as a kid, I was that way, actually. Yeah? Yeah, I was in a... When I was a little kid in a bookstore, I, I remember just like, apparently at one point, what? I was like, I was like, why would you read something someone made up? <laughs> I remember just as a kid Crazy. being like, what the fuck are we doing? I want to read about something that happened. Give me that book on Egypt, you know? Like, <laughs> That's right. This is real stuff. Yeah. This really happened. Oh my god, this is too fast now. Which is like... Now, now with like my... Oh god. Oh, good... Uh, I mean, it's a good game to begin with, but uh, that's a good... Um, good little add-on to make it a little bit more interesting. Mm-hmm. So, uh, the games today we played Fat Albert, fun little uh, yeah. reskin, uh, Defender Arcade. Also, you know, I think it didn't really change too much from Starfire, no, man. the second game, but uh, that that is fun. I hadn't played Starfire very much, so that was good. Uh, Galaxian Arcade made it look a lot better, um, and Doctor vs. Dalek, nice fun little uh, fun little reskin yeah. with some options in the title screen as well. Milton Buddhist, I left for a bit. Work stuff. Was Defender Arcade existing? <laughs> hack or homebrew? Arcade existing? Oh, no, it was good. It was a hack. We did all hacks today. Yeah, it was a hacky day. Very, very hacky. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, so, good stuff. Once in a while, it's, it's fun to look at some hacks and yeah. have a little bit of fun with them. Well, what's the next schedule like looking like for oh, us now? Well, it's... Uh, I don't know Got if that you? was a good segue into yeah, what was naturally going to happen. Or I actually it was. Genuinely, that's where I was going to go Okay, to. I was just genuinely interested. Um, <laughs> so on Friday, we're going to be playing uh, an update to Robot City. And uh, that is with Darcy. He hasn't played it yet. Wow. And a brand new game, Street Rod 2600. Don't know much about it. Just saw it this morning. It's like you race, you fix up your car, you improve it, you pick different people to race against, you win money from the races. It's kind of a, like a racing RPG, I guess. That's a little cool. Bit. Yeah, I, I, it's uh, the same by, by the same guy who did bass fishing, um, twenty six hundred. That's exciting, then. That's yeah. a fucking good game. Anyone who can make me like bass fishing <laughs> He's can probably something. can do anything. <laughs> mm-hmm. That supermarket game needs updating again. Yeah, it hasn't been updated in a while. Any part of it's in BD? What's BD? Do you know? Uh, Boulder Dash. Ah. Uh, well, we can't do that until my system is fixed. Oh, yeah, I've fixed. actually messaged uh, Tim, who made the 2600 RGB, to ask him if he has any of those extra things that has failed on mm-hmm. my system. Um, or you can point me to an online resource where I can buy it as well. Because I, I don't really feel comfortable putting in the old um power converter power inverter yeah whatever it is i have no idea what i'm doing <laughs> because that's why you don't want to do it <laughs> because he replaced it with something big that had uh that had a lot of a lot more mechanics on it and i don't think i want to regress back to something that's not as good so i thought you know go to the source make sure i get the right parts to fix it up and get it going again so as soon as the that is working again we'll be going back and playing some more boulder dash okay, and cool. complete some more levels oh my god it's hard but uh we'll get through it yeah that's we'll a fucking well-designed game that's a it cool is game. yeah um so we've been playing robot city and street rod 2600 plus pro- probably a third game maybe another activision challenge if i don't find another third game it's a little bit slow this time of year for updates and games coming out uh, and then uh the last show of the year, uh, December 4th, next Wednesday. Oh, really? We're going to be playing some Christmas games. Okay, that sounds good. Um, maybe Damn. some that we've played before in the past. I don't 
nobody's made a new one this year. Um, so maybe some that we wanted to play. Probably that um, Jumping Santa one. Oh, yeah. Because I really wanted to get to a higher level of that one. That's crazy that it's December next week. I know. This I it's think this really, it really stole a big chunk of my uh, November. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I need some tam time off to prepare for the Atari Awards. I'm also going away. I want to put out the interview that I filmed at PRGE um, of Dion. And, oh, I'm uh, excited for that. I'm gonna I'm gonna tune in for that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that'll be a good one because he discusses uh, his uh, new game. Oh my God, what's his new game? Anyway, yeah. He plus he just talks about <laughs> Amoeba Jump and his new game as well. Oh, so many things in my mind. Well, yeah, and also it's hard when you're interviewing people too. Like you almost need to watch the interview later because in the yeah. moment you're not really able to just experience it. And, and I do have one game lined up for uh, December 4th. It's Frosty, which is made by I Supposed to. Whoa. So it's a Berserk hack again, except you're a snowman. I'm into it, man. Yeah, Berserk's so a good be, game. So that'll be fun. Toy Shop Trouble is a favorite. Yeah, we might play that one again. You we'll, know, we'll visit a bunch of I them. I realized, I figured out the other day where I'd heard Activision from before. <laughs> um, well, this is... Well, they've been around forever well, of and course, still make games. But, but where, where I first played them is i oh. realized when i was a teenager i loved the tony hawk games and the tony hawk oh. games were all developed by activision okay and in the tony hawk games when you're skating you have to collect the activision logo <laughs> as like an uh, award so i'd oh. seen activision so many times but i never like connected those dots and Burnt i was into your brain and it was obviously youtube was marketing shit at me and they were like a retrospective of all the tony hawk games uh. 25 minutes i'm like my back hurts so much. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah. You know, and so I watched that shit and I was like, oh, that's where the Activision, that was at least where I first saw it because Activision was drilled into my brain as like, and it was because you have to collect the logo in game, which I'd done a million times, uh, but never. Okay, yeah. But I mean, again, it's showing my age, the fact that Activision means Tony Hawk's <laughs> pro skater games. That's right. Yeah, the, uh, the demographics of this show are very interesting to look at. If you look on like the YouTube results, I don't think they have it for um, Twitch. Twitch, they might, but YouTube definitely hasn't. It's like this big block in the 30s and 40s <laughs> age range, and like nothing in the teenagers. That makes sense. Nothing much in the 20s, but yeah, it it does make a lot of sense. So if anybody else out there has suggestions for Christmas themed games, I'm sure we've covered just about yeah. any one, all of them. Because I think we did like four episodes or like five episodes last year of all the Christmas games. We just decimated, ran through all of them. So it might be a best of kind of yeah. uh, episode next Wednesday with, with Erilyn here. That'll be fun. And I don't know if Tanya wanted to be here, but it's, it's like 11 a.m. So I yeah. don't know, maybe we'll change the time. Well, I got to gotta, gotta teach it. Yeah, so. so we'll just keep it the same time. Uh, Repentless VG, great show. Happy Thanksgiving tomorrow to u.s people that's right yeah we, we had ours. ours so yeah happy thanksgiving to people in the u.s of a because that's their time to uh get together with yeah. friends and family and fight and i think that's eat. one of the <laughs> one of the in my opinion one of the most important holidays weirdly yeah more so than christmas well yeah, for me i think so yeah, yeah. well that's not that so much the holiday but like what it means like to just be thankful for like where you're at in life and like to, to sort of take stock for the things that are actually going well because yeah. we there's so we often i think focus so much on negativity in life yes. to have a moment to pause and go like what's what is working what am i thankful for mm -hmm. you know and sometimes you're just like thankful that you just have like boots that work and you can walk down the street you there's know no like water coming into them and fuck yeah soaking your or feet. like right now like thank i'll be thankful for when i don't have to be in pain from this cut you know like your yep. foot like yeah, i don't know exactly it's almost better but i'm still still feel it yeah. and it and it's also i mean that whole colonial thing and all that history yeah. it's like be thankful for the fact that we're here and like yeah. we get to like live this weird life where we get to play fucking atari games on a and wednesday have, and have warm cats leaning yeah. up against you and there's a history of people that lost their lives and you know really sacrificed shit so that we can be here you know because yeah, a lot in of the, peace yeah fuck, a lot of the other holidays feel like just kind of capitalist you know feeding frenzy 
get yeah. your little Valentine's heart for your yeah, crush. Buy this, buy this, buy this. And, and it hasn't really been commodified too much Thanksgiving. No. I mean, they try. It feels <laughs> like a time to sort of go like, hey, let's actually think about life for a second. If you I think you're doing it right. Because Christmas just feels like Coca-Cola. Oh, like, oh my God, yeah. Just all, and you like, over the top and commercialization. And you're seeing your family and like, you know, I don't know. Yeah. But like, yeah. So like, so happy Thanksgiving to everybody over there. That's yes. my little Thanksgiving bit for the day. That's right. It is not too bad of a holiday. Yeah, it's an important time, I think. And, so. and speaking of thanks, good segue. Let's yeah. thank everybody who uh, showed up today for the yeah, live man. show. Uh, I was supposed to repentless VG thrust twenty six militant Buddhist Dan AVC the D train thirty seven Trey guy. Uh, what, was that? what does that say? Vo hi yo. Uh, who else? Dan ABC, yeah. SVG. I think we got most of them. Milton Buddhist. Well, yeah, and thank you guys as always for showing up. It's still unimaginable to me. That, yeah, that, that people want to sit and watch us. And it's also unimaginable that people are still making games for the twenty six hundred. That this is something yeah. you're doing just because you want to do it. Yeah. Like, it just feels like these days everyone does things because they're like want some personal gain. And it's just mm -hmm. cool that this feels like this community of people who really actually give a shit about gaming. And like, I feel thankful that you guys get to that you that you guys build these games and let us kind of hang out every Wednesday. Yeah, and celebrate the fact that you make these amazing, cool things. Yeah, man. For for everyone to enjoy <laughs> well, well yeah well goodbye everyone and thank you all for hanging out today yeah torn ligament is not fun no it's not no. thankfully mine is i'd say at a 75 percent now that's good yeah i can walk totally fine without any pain i'll have to get back up into running again but i'll have to go, go on long walks first yeah um, but going downstairs is still a little bit iffy you know in terms of uh flexibility Oh, Repentless VG just subscribed. Thank you very Man, much. Thanks, dude. Five months. Currently on a five-month streak. Thank you so much, Repentless VG. It's always amazing when people support support oh, us like yeah, that. Yeah, man. It's not. So it's we'll not be expected. back. We'll be back on Friday with Darcy at noon, one hour previous to when you just watched. And I guess I'll see you guys for what basically almost the season finale. Season finale, and then we'll be back in the new year yeah, with again. The award show, which is yeah. kind of the beginning of. The yeah, stuff. so we'll be ramping up towards the award show, talking about the things that uh, all the games. We'll probably be doing a retrospective. Cool. Um, on the games yeah, that came out in 2019. Yeah, so this kind of is a bit of an end, friends. Damn. Yep. Next week, obviously Next not week. today, but yeah. and then and then it'll be 2020. Yeah, and, and, I, and we'll be talking about new games that oh, come yeah. out as well, but we'll be mixing it in with uh, games that came out in 2019 and kind of reviewing them. And yeah, it's, talking it's about that them. season, you know. It is. Everything's new again. And celebrating <laughs> what has happened in the past. That's what yeah. you do in New Year's. So um, so thanks a lot for joining us. And we will see you on Friday. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. See you next week.